So today we're going to talk about a single pulse switch and how it works, a three-way switch and how it works, and a tamper-resistant receptacle and how it works. First off, we're going to start with our single pole receptacle. And we need to take off the grounding plate. And we're left with the switch and inside. As you see on the single pole switch, we've got our two screws, which is the top and bottom. And each one has a corresponding um, stab in. So basically, there's a switch with the little paddle right here, and there's a notch to capture this spring and two bumpers. So when you switch it, and basically, what happens when you flip it up or down, this paddle is pushing this lever away from making contact with that. So you see this is where it's making contact and this is your stab in and your screw. This is your other side of the contact with the lever and this is what moves and again your screw and your stab in. And that's just the single pole switch. Now three-way switches are basically the same except where you have your traveler screws and your common screw with their corresponding stab ends you have all right. the switch this time has two paddles to go along with the spring catcher and basically one paddle is forward and the other one's reverse so when the switch is in one setting it's letting the lever, the corresponding lever, sit and make contact while it's pushing the other one away. Now you see the two levers right here. You have this one and this one. And a magnet that I just magnetized out. And now each one of these levers corresponds with your travelers. So we'll take that one out. You've got your contact and your stab in and your screw. Now this side has the lever contact, stab in, and the screw. And then your common, which is always your odd color, has two connections. As you can see, it pushes one lever down on this side, whereas it'll be pushing up the other lever. So that's how you make your contact. And it, of course, has your stab in, your screw, and then two points where it can make contact with one side or the other. Now we have our tamper resistant receptacle. And if you look inside the plug ins, there's a white there's no holes through and basically okay take your face off and you have your ground bar and there's your ground plugs for correspond with your ground holes on your receptacle your ground screw just like the others you have your hot side and your neutral side and their corresponding stab ends and now on your hot side, you have your spots for your stab ends, and you have your screws, and then you have a little tab that can be broken out in order to separate the top and bottom. And the same thing is going on on the neutral side. You have your spots for your stab ends, you have your screws, your tab, and if you look here, each one has the clamp where your, your outlet plugs into. Now this is where 
tamper resistant receptacles change from a normal receptacle. If you're using tamper resistant receptacles, you don't need to buy the little plastic covers to keep a baby from poking a knife into the outlet. Now basically what happens, you think of it like each outlet um, plug inside has a split, has a lever that opens up the other sides. So if you try and plug something in the hot side, it's actually opening up the port for the neutral side, whereas the port for the hot side stays closed. Now you switch and you push something in the neutral side and it opens up the port for the hot side. So basically, in order to get something all the way through, you have to plug something in on each side and it opens both gates at the same time and you can plug in. And here's, it's got little springs, it's got your trap doors here that act as the lever for the gates on the back. And this is replacing the little plastic plug-in piece you put in receptacles to keep babies from hurting themselves. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. Check out one of my other videos. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.